my name is Kristen and I am 27 weeks pregnant and about a month ago I got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma stage 2a cancer I started following my journey at my port surgery which was about a week ago now it's the day of my port surgery and Drew's here. I never thought I'd be doing this, but I have watched a couple girls' YouTube channels and it really helped me throughout this whole process so far of getting diagnosed so I wanted to. Well, I didn't want to, but I feel the need to start a vlog, um, vlogging my journey so it can help other people too. Um, just with knowing what to expect next and not feeling like you're alone. So this is port surgery day. We're just waiting to go in to surgery. It was really hard for me to accept there will be a foreign object in my body. I'm a very holistic, natural person. This is my daughter, Lively. She's 26 weeks. My first pregnancy, I was very holistic. I didn't even drink a soda my entire pregnancy. This is not what I had planned for my pregnancy at all. And I don't like having foreign objects and going to surgery and getting all these chemicals put into my body, but I just have to know that this is healing me and this is what's best for me and my daughter so we can both get through this and make it to the other side, because we will. Made it to recovery. It's my port. It's not bad. Um, pretty famished, haven't eaten since 6 a.m., but really grateful. Had a really nice anesthesiologist again, and the baby's good. We checked her. Just reporting back in. Can't wait to go home. We're going to get discharged in a couple minutes and get to go eat. So, successful port surgery. Wasn't bad. I got put under general anesthesia, and they drained some fluid from my lungs that I still had left from the last time. So all is well, it's not bad. You guys can do this. I'm currently on my second round of chemo. Honestly, I feel great. I mean, I'm tired, but that's really the only symptom I'm experiencing today. I feel really good. It's a couple days out and I can't complain. I really haven't had many symptoms at all. If you want to hear about my diagnosis story, um, I have that on the blog. So you can see like my part one and part two of my diagnosis. It's been two weeks, two and a half weeks. And I haven't started losing my hair. It's actually pretty thick. But today I'm going with my sisters to get a pixie cut because I figured like, okay, let's say worst case scenario, I lose all my hair at least I like could try out some new cute hairstyles before I lose it all. So then when I'm growing it back out, I can be like, okay, like it's not that bad when the pixie comes back, when, you know, it's short. I cut my hair short whenever I found out about my diagnosis. Um, and my doctor said to me when I was just, just in on Wednesday for chemo, he was like, we were just talking. I didn't bring it up at all. And he goes, Hey, um, just to set your expectations, you know your hair is going to be gone by Thanksgiving, right? And I was like, yeah, I, I mean, I've been preparing myself. I went and got a wig. Rise and shine, ladies. It's wig day. Love it. gotten cute beanies, hats, head wraps. I'm gonna have a full ascent chemo essentials blog. Trust me, I've done the research. I'm a researcher. This stuff is good. If you have to go through chemo, like you want this gear, this cute gear. Um, I'm just getting the pixie because like, hey, let's say I don't lose my hair. So I have a pixie, so what, you know? Like it might be cute, we'll just see. But we're just gonna have to roll with the punches on this one. I have really learned to be flexible throughout this whole journey. Um, you know, it's not easy. I seem like really like okay with it. I'm like laughing and smiling. This is not how I am all the time. 
I come to terms with everything. Like, it's just like, okay, we're doing this. This is what's happening next. And I'm still kind of in disbelief. Like, I know this is all real. And I know it's all happening, but it just also feels like it's not real. I can't explain it. But what makes me feel um, like less scared when I think about the big picture is like, I was terrified to do my first chemo. I was terrified to do the port surgery, like absolutely terrified. Um, I was terrified to do lip node biopsy. And here I am two rounds into chemo. And, you know, I hope I don't regret saying this. <laughs> and I know, like, I know chemo is cumulative. Like I, people have said that, but also I've read that sometimes like your first round and your reactions, your first round is kind of what you can expect for all your rounds of chemo. So that's what I'm kind of hoping and praying for. But I also know that things could get really hard and things could get a lot worse than they are now. But for now, I'm just trying to live in the moment. I can't look at the big picture. Cause when I look at the big picture, especially giving birth to my daughter in less than two months, um, I get really freaked out. But the fear and anxiety of all the things that have already happened is so much worse than what actually has happened. Does that make sense? But then you go, you do it. You just do it scared. Like that's been what I've been doing. Like you're doing it scared and you do it. And then it's not that bad. I hope this helps someone that feels that way right now. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not good at this. I I'm not really a vlogger. I'm just kind of going with it, you know? Okay. I did the pixie. I hate it so much, to be honest. Like, it's so far worse than I ever thought it would be. Um, and here we are. And I'm making this video. Thanksgiving is two days away. Have I lost any hair? No. So, here's the thing I'm not complaining. Like, let's say worse, like, what? So I don't lose my hair and I'm stuck with this pixie? I mean, it's better than being bald. I think. I think it's better than being bald. You know, I almost cried when I was there. I almost cried. And I was like, you're not, you're not crying over this. Like you've been through so much stuff. It's going to take a lot more than this for you to cry. And it's okay. If, if anyone wants to cry, you can cry. And you know what? I have, I cried since then maybe about it, but I just don't really let myself because here's the thing. If I'm going to go bald, like who cares? Logically and practically like having clumps of hair come out was going to be really anxiety inducing and I thought less is better what I was thinking I'm just trying to tell myself like here's some things I'm telling myself princess Diana vibes you know um I've been looking up like oh you know who has a pixie right now Emily in Paris I love Emily in Paris uh her pixie's much better she looks much better than me but she has one my advice to in summary don't cut it until your hair's falling out then go to town. That's what I would do.